Hello and welcome back to 305 Tech. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Acer Nitro 5 AN515-58-7583. That's a long way to say this is the latest from Acer in the Nitro 5 family. This laptop is equipped with an Intel Core i7 12700H which has six performance cores and eight efficiency cores with a total core count of 14 and a total thread count of 20. The max turbo frequency is 4.7 gigahertz. This laptop is equipped with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 3200 megahertz speed and a total storage of two terabytes in PCI Gen 4. This laptop is also equipped with a GeForce RTX 3070 with 8GB of GDDR6 and a boost clock of 1.5GHz. The screen is a 15.6 QHD with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 with a response time of 3 milliseconds and a total brightness of 300 nits. The battery is a standard 4 cell lithium ion and for power we have a maximum of 330 watts power draw. Let's go ahead and take a quick look inside and see what possible upgrades we can do to this laptop. As always, I'm going to be using my trusty iFixit toolkit. If you don't have one of these, I strongly recommend you get one. Link in the description down below. It is extremely easy to open up these Acer laptops. All you have to do is remove all these screws. They're all the same size. And again, all you need is a precision Phillips bit. As you can see, all of the screws are of the same size, so they're pretty simple to remove and you don't have to worry about keeping track of what goes where. Let's remove the memory cover. After removing the memory cover, we can see two sodium memory slots. Let's take one out and see what kind of memory this is. And as you can see, these are just standard DDR4 3200 megahertz Samsung memory. We should be able to upgrade the RAM on this laptop up to 64 gigabytes of RAM by installing two 32 gigabyte sodiums. As I'm sure you already noticed, we have two hard drives installed in this laptop. And we know that this computer comes free built with a total of two terabytes of PCI Gen 4, which means this is a one terabyte drive and this is another one terabyte drive. This means that this laptop is equipped with two one terabyte drives in a RAID 0 configuration, which is great for doubling the speed approximately. However, this is also a concern since we have a single point of failure here. If you don't know much about RAID, I recommend that you watch another video about RAID types from someone smarter than me who can do a better job at explaining. But essentially, half of the data gets written into one drive half of the data gets written into the second drive, therefore doubling the speed of the performance. This isn't a new concept and actually Apple has been doing so in some of their more high-end MacBook Pros. However, I do not like this configuration and I do not recommend it. This can be easily solved by going into the BIOS, disabling RAID, ending up with two one terabyte drives. Now, in my opinion, a better configuration for me would be one drive for the operating system and then a second drive as your gaming drive. So here's what I'm going to be doing to this laptop. I'm going to keep the first drive just for the operating system and then I'm going to be installing a Samsung 990 Pro for my game drive. This is currently the fastest drive in the market and it should reduce the load time for playing games. The other great thing about this laptop is that it comes equipped with a standard SSD slot so you can actually put your old gaming drive in here from your other laptop 
or use it as cheap storage. And then the box you do get the cable required to do the installation as well as the screws to mount it into the case. So again, good job Acer for including the additional components if you want to add an older SSD drive. So the last step is to reconfigure the BIOS. We need to disable RAID, reinstall Windows in the first drive, and then use the faster Samsung drive for my games. I'm sure this might cause some controversy. The fact that I remove one of the original Samsung drives that came from the factory and you don't have to do that. You can keep everything just as is. I just happen to have a Samsung 990 Pro available and I know they are faster than these Samsung drives. So. I decided to use it as my gaming drive. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Acer Nitro AN515. If you would like to leave a comment down below, please do so. I always read every comment that you guys post. If you have not done so, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Click the like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you'd like to purchase this laptop or any of the items that I've used in this video, please use my Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't cost anything to you and it helps pay some of the bills. This is Will from 305 Tech and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.